How's it going, guys? I wanted to share with you our pillars of well-being. Lift your well-being uh, since the start of 2021. We have changed the way we deliver our weekly well-being themes. We've got a bit more structure to it now. Uh, we felt like it was important to to hit on certain elements of well-being on a consistent basis. So our first theme of well-being or pillar, if you like, is is movement. As I think that speaks for itself, the importance of of moving your body on a regular basis, and that's not about always about running marathons or lifting heavy weights, but just gentle movement, walking, gardening, dancing, whatever it might be. Um, making sure that we do that regularly. Nourishment is number two. Again, it speaks for itself, but making sure that we're we're having a, a balanced diet includes all the food groups um, and that we're not doing anything too excessive. The next one is rest, which is probably a bit unique to, to us. I think that you might see other pillars of well-being around, but rest was something that I was really keen to make sure it was a core pillar. I think that as a society and we work a lot with professional services, rest is something that gets neglected um, because uh, we sort of, we make a hero of all the people that don't need rest, that don't need sleep and they just power through and we're obsessed with being busy and resting sort of uh, being neglected. And I think it's so important for our mental health, for our happiness, for our performance at work, that we actually take time to rest and and that we always learn to rest, as strange as that sounds. I think that for many people watching TV might not be restful, some, some it will. So it's, it's learning what is rest for you and that might change every day. Um, cooking a, a really nice meal, doing something creative, playing music, that might be your form of rest. So that's a really important pillar for us. Uh, we explore that in the third week of every month. Connection is our fourth pillar. Connection, I think, is definitely at the moment anyway, is, is the most important pillar for me um, because of what we've gone through um, with the connection to to our friends, to our family, other loved ones has been difficult. And I've, and I've definitely felt that personally, and I, and I know a lot of people have. Um, but it's not also it's not always about humans, um, human connection, if you like, as, as important that is. I think connection to to ourselves, to our, our values, our, our thoughts, connection to our hobbies, connection to nature. It can be quite wide, um, but I really think the connection pillar is, is another really important one that, that maybe gets overlooked when we, when we think about mental health and well-being. So that's our fourth. And our fifth is well-being in the workplace. So um, every month we, we explore these pillars. We've got it in a, in a really nice magazine format for our clients. Um, and well-being in the workplace is our fifth pillar. So we've looked at things like the role um, that showing some vulnerability plays in the workplace, um, taking off your mask and, and showing your true colours and, and the benefits that can have for, for your mental health and, and those around you. Um, and we're looking at things like appreciation, giving appreciation, what impact that makes when people feel appreciated, they do great work. Um, we're going to look at things like feedback, how to give and receive feedback, how to look for signs that your colleagues might be stressed, like or, or you know, burnt out, for, um, and also for yourself, uh, creating awareness around your own your own stress sort of indicators. And so that's our pillars of well-being. Um, I would love to explore this more with you. So if you think that this would be a really nice uh, fit for your workplace, that we can consistently and proactively talk about these pillars and and help your staff members to to make sure that they're, they're getting um, getting the right habits and self-care routines in place with the right support, then please reach out to us, liftyourwellbeing.com or kevin at liftyourwellbeing.com is my email address. We're in a great position to help more businesses. So please do reach out if you'd like to learn more. Thank you.